Good morning. Lately I've been turning pens. This video is going to be on my procedure and the tools I use for turning pens. And I'm also going to highlight one tool I purchased recently. That's a Robert Sorby micro tool. And I'm going to show you a close up of that right now and uh, do a little pen turning. Now you're looking at some of the micro tools made by Robert Sorby. Uh, some of the tools they offer are boring tools, round nose scraper, spindle gouge, spindle roughing gouge. I have a few of those tools. Here's a handle, which isn't too bad. It's about 30 bucks for that handle. I like to make my own handles and this is a little parting tool. This is a little hollowing tool here. And this is the gouge that I'm going to show you. This is a spindle roughing gouge. and I'm going to show you uh, how I use that for turning pens. And this is the texturing tool I've shown you. I've got a video on that. They make quite a few of these. And I think some of these tools you probably don't need to get. Would be my recommendation. This is a really nice little parting tool. But you probably have one or two or three parting tools like I do. I've got my own hollowing tools, and to be honest, I haven't used this yet, this particular tool. I need to put that on a handle. They do make the handle, but I like to make my own handles. And with the spindle roughing gouge, it's got a round tang on it, so you can very easily put that into a handle, like I've done. And I'll show you that on my lathe. I've got a couple pen blanks in my pen mandrel in my small MIDI lathe. And I'm going to turn those in just a second. Um, one tool I don't use for turning pen blanks, and that's a, simply a spindle gouge. Okay, I think the only, the only way you can use this is to, is to turn it on its side and use that flat area right here and, and kind of work that down. I used to teach kids in a middle school in an after school program and they always wanted to use a spindle gouge and they would approach it dead on and here's the point well it's hard to make a nice flat surface with a spindle gouge I never use that so I'm going to put that aside when I'm just starting turning my pen blanks down my favorite tool is this spindle roughing gouge and I get this from Packard, and I think it's the smallest one they offer, and I believe it's under a half an inch designation. It seems like it's a little bit more than half an inch, but uh, tools are measured differently depending on where they're manufactured. But what I do is I turn this spindle roughing gouge totally on its side, and I use this flat area right here. Okay, I don't I don't use it this way, but on on its side. And I'm going to use that to just to rough this down because all we want to do right now is to kind of hog that wood out very quickly, get it down to the point where we're near our bushings, and then I'm going to go to my Robert Sorby tool. And I'll show you a close-up of, of that Robert Sorby tool. Okay. And spindle roughing gouge. I'm not going to use this on bowls, and they do make a spindle gouge, but uh, I've got a lot of other tools I would use on a, on a cross-grain turning, but this is a spindle turning, and I'm going to use it the same way. So once I get this rough down, I'm going to go to this tool and uh, fine-tune my cut. I sometimes use a skew chisel, and that works very well also. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to true these up with my larger spindle roughing gouge, and I'm going to use a face shield, because I'm going to eventually be turning this at 4000 RPM. And this seems like maybe a safe thing to do, but if this uh, splinters or breaks apart, that can be really dangerous. So this allows me to turn pretty fast, but I'm going to use my face shield. I'm going to use my larger spindle roughing gouge. Now at this point I'm not too worried about the finish. I'm a little bit away from my bushing so I'm going to continue using the larger spindle roughing gouge.
as I get a little closer to my bushings, I'm going to turn this tool on its side and use that straight, flat part of the flute right here uh, to get a nice straight cut on that. Now I'm going to go to my Robert Sorby micro tool at this point. And I've been using this on smaller projects like uh, lidded boxes and that sort of thing. And it works really well. And I thought this would be a great tool for turning pens, and it really is. So again, I'm going to turn this tool on its side and uh, kind of work my way down to my bushings. Now I'm turning the Roadster pen blank pen kit from uh, Craft Supplies like that. It's got a little bit thicker um, center band area here and I don't like a slim line that's just too too narrow for me um, and I also like to leave a little bit of thickness in this area and this area so I'm going to go down to my my bushings at this point Now if you've ever turned a pen, you pretty much know the procedure necessary to turn a good pen. Let me show you one thing that um, probably isn't a great secret, but I'm going to loosen up my, my knurled nut on that end. And I'm going to just turn my, my pen blank. I'm going to just rotate those just a little bit. Pen mandrels tend to not be absolutely accurate. <coughs> So sometimes you get a little bit thicker area, one part of your pen blank on the bushing, and the other part is right, right on there. So if you rotate those a little bit, that kind of evens out. Now you notice that I turn my tool in one direction or the other. If I'm working on the right bushing, I got my flute opened in that direction. As I come over here, I've got it uh, turned in the other direction. The headstock is always in the way if you're right-handed. So you may have seen me go to my left hand to hit this area over here. My next video is going to be on turning with your opposite hand. That's another video though. So I'm, I'm right there. I'm going to do a little bit of sanding and I'll show you my finished pen. Now here are a few of my completed pens. I've got a couple in the spalted tamarind and some other woods. And to me, it's all about the woods. Find some nice pen blank exotic wood and turn some pens. Thanks for tuning in.